Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs with another edition of the M Show, what every maker should have one of. And today it's not about tools for the electronics lab, but something else that every maker should have one. And that is this triple uh, five timer kit from Evil Mad Scientist, an oversized version of the 555 timer, but not with the IC, but built with discrete components. And so we'll take a look what's inside and how to get this thing open. By the way, it I got this from a sale from Elector magazine because it's quite expensive to import it directly from the US. And well, how do you open this? Ah. So you need a manual to open this without destroying the nice package. Man, let's see what comes out. Okay, what have we got? We have some beautiful IC pins here in a very large version as a kind of standoff, so that's nice. The screw terminals, the PCB and the components. So I'll take a minute to solder this together. I can't do this on camera uh, because my setup here is not suitable uh, for filming uh, soldering. I just can't do that. So I'll be back for you in a second, for me in, I don't know, half an hour, uh, if I get this thing assembled and ready to work. So it took me slightly more than half an hour to solder and assemble this thing together. And it's really nice attention to details. Uh, for example, the IC pins, uh, they really have the shape as a real IC where the pins on the edge are different than the ones in the middle. And even you have the little notch here uh, to indicate where pin 1 and pin 8 on the IC are. Um, the PCB is matte black, uh, so that's also quite nice. What I would have liked is if they had put the schematic here of the single elements of the 555 timer, if they would have printed that onto the PCB so that the functionality uh, becomes a bit clearer, because the, the 555 timer is quite a good example to learn th something about analog electronics. And you can make the connections either via the screw terminals or you also have extra through plated vias. So for example here the connection for the 9 volt battery I've uh, soldered directly to the holes there. And um, as you can see it doesn't look very nice. I've built just a simple LED blinking uh, circuit. So uh, let's see if this works. It might be that on camera, due to the interference with the sampling rate of the camera, that the blinking is uh, doesn't look very regular, but <laughs> believe me, in reality it is regular. It's a quite fast, about 10 hertz or something like that. So I think this could even be a beginner's project for learning to solder if you have someone experienced standing beside you and uh, give you some little tips because uh, it's it's just a bunch of transistors and resistors and that's all and so really nicely built and I think uh, this is really a showpiece that should be present in every maker's lab as a kind of exhibition uh, piece and by the way the documentation is uh, very good you get not only um, the assembly instructions suitable really for uh, beginners. Um, you also get a detailed explanation of how this thing works and lots of links to what you can do with the triple five timer. I will copy uh, the links about interesting triple five timer circuits like for example the winners of the triple five timer contest that ran a few years ago, I think on hackaday.com, where one of the winners, for example, built a complete AM radio 
with just a triple five timer, including class D amplifier and demodulator, etc., uh, with nothing else but a triple five timer, no further active external components. So it's really astonishing what has been achieved with this simple and I think the most sold I see ever in the history of integrated circuits. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and you can support me on Patreon if you want to. And see you next time. Bye from Roger. Bye from Kanka Labs.